How can you use Twitter to sell more books? We're going to talk about that coming up. Hey guys and gals, boys and girls, authors and author wannabes. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Your old buddy Tim here, uh, back with you again to dispense with wisdom and advice on all things authoring, publishing, agenting, all of those wonderful things that we as authors are concerned with. Hey, quickly, if you are interested in that sort of thing, I encourage you to click that subscribe button below and click the bell icon. Give us a like, because if you do that, every time I do one of these shows, you're going to be notified. And God forbid you miss this, because as I say, it is free, which makes it an entertainment value. So uh, typically what I do on the program is I answer questions submitted by viewers like you in the comments below. And today the question comes from Danny. Danny says, Tim, I saw your video on uh, social media for authors. Will you explain Twitter a little better? Is that really grammatically explain it a little better? Oh, well, Danny, you're a writer, so we'll go with that. Great question, though, Danny, and because you asked it, you are going to get a free digital copy of one of my books. So let's talk about Twitter. Donald Trump, President Donald Trump's favorite social media platform, Twitter. That guy tweets more than uh, a covey of quail, and he uses it because, guess what? It works. Go figure. Twitter has become one of the main ways to get news out. And you don't have to be President Donald Trump or a famous rock star or Kim Kardashian to uh, use Twitter successfully. Now, the, the main point of Twitter, at least as I see it, is to keep in touch. It's to build relationships with people, which we talk about to death on this program, building relationships with your readers. Uh, but it's, it's, it's really handy. You know, if you've got readers who, let's say your your book, Danny, uh, you're having a countdown deal on uh, Amazon or the book is free or whatever, and you want to get the word out really quickly to your followers, will you just go tweet it? I'm going to go tweet. Tweet has become a verb as well as a noun. And so if you've got, uh, let's say, three or 400 people on your Twitter follower list, Danny, when you tweet out your little message, they're all going to be notified and then they can take action. And that's one of the important things I think about Twitter. A lot of people uh, will just use Twitter uh, to make announcements like Donald Trump and many others. They just say, here, here's my thought of the moment. I'm tweeting it out. If you're an author, you can also use Twitter to drive traffic. All right. If you and I do this on a daily basis, if you're not on my Twitter follower feed, just go to Twitter and look for Tim Knox and there I'll be. Um, and so what I do is anytime I've got an announcement to make about a book or whatever, I'll tweet it. But then I will always include a link either directly to the book or to the website. So that's one of the ways I use Twitter is as a funnel to get people over to where I want them to be. Now, if you're not familiar with Twitter, You'll have to excuse me. It's uh, summertime in Alabama, and I have my usual summertime cold. Oh, coffee makes everything better, especially in a dog cup. But I digress and I drink. If you don't know what Twitter is, go over to Twitter and just look around. Basically, again, it's just a way for you to get an announcement out to a crowd. Now, there are certain rules, Danny. You're limited to, I think it's a 140 characters, so you can't write an entire diatribe in one Twitter feed. But the thing that I found about Twitter is I, the, the limited characters actually makes me write better tweets because it's, it's like a self-editor. I don't have as many words to you, so I kind of get to the point. Um, Twitter has lots of little things about it. You need to learn not only uh, the rules and the regulations and the limitations of Twitter's, you know, the 140 characters, but you also need to learn about things like hashtags and at signs. And I know you probably don't know what I'm talking about. For example, my Twitter handle is below, and you'll see the little at sign. At sign means Twitter member and then the member name. And then you're going to see things like hashtags, which we always call the pound sign, but that doesn't sound cool as a hashtag. 
Uh, and hashtags are typically used to denote keywords and create pages. And again, I, I don't have the time to go in depth into Twitter, but they have great tutorials and they have a great FAQ. So uh, the question for this is, should you use Twitter as an author to help sell books, build your brand, drive traffic? Yes. Why not? It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. Uh, it's a great way to keep in touch. Again, just remember, it's not like doing a blog post or a Facebook post. You don't have unlimited characters to use. You are limited to 140 characters, and that will include the URL that you put in. So uh, that's it. Danny, I'm not going to go in depth into Twitter. There's, there's so many other videos out there on Twitter. Just go check it out. But yes, if you are an author, Twitter is a great way to keep in touch with your readers. It's a great way to get information out there. Uh, it's a great way to connect and build relationships, which I keep, you know, my gosh, I've beat that poor dead horse to death. Build relationships any way you can. So, Danny. Should you set up a Twitter account and use it? By all means. Hashtag yes. Hashtag set up a Twitter account. Okay, guys, I hope that was helpful and not nearly as confusing as it sounded in my head as I was saying it. The bottom line is, yes, Twitter is a great way to keep in touch with your readers. Set up a Twitter account, learn the lingo, do the tweets, and you too can become like our president and become a master tweeter. Okay. Hey, don't forget, if you like what I do on the program, please subscribe below. Uh, click the bell notification icon and you'll learn, uh, be notified every time I do one of these. And uh, also, if you have a question or comment, drop it in the comments below. And if I use your question on an upcoming show, like I just did, Danny, you will get a free digital copy of my book. Danny, I hope that was helpful. Go tweet something. Danny, go tweet that Tim uh, was very helpful today. Go tweet for Tim. I like that. This is going to be my new slogan. All right, guys. Hopefully in some strange, confused, pathetic way, uh, that helped you become a better writer. If it did, go tweet about it. I thought I thought I put it that. I did. I did. I put it that. Cut the camera off.